Each year from November to May, thousands of humpback whales spend their winter months in warm Hawaiian waters. As KITV4's Moani Kiela Navarro reports, this year whale count numbers are down and biologists have some theories to explain why. For centuries, humpback whales migrated to Hawaii to breed, give birth, and nurture their calves. The early Hawaiians called them kohola, believed to be a manifestation of an ancient god. The fascination with the humpbacks is still thriving. Each year on Maui, the Pacific Whale Foundation and the Hawaiian Island Humpback Whale Marine Sanctuary rounds up volunteers to count whales at different times during the season. This year's numbers are down by about 30 percent, and NOAA biologists believe it could mean it's a late season. A lot of my Alaska friends, the researchers up there, were saying, oh yeah, there's a lot of whales still up here, still feeding. A lot of food this year, and they, they're staying at the dinner table a little longer. Ed Lyman says there are other factors that could explain why people are seeing fewer whales. Sometimes we have some ideas, like, again, um, the coastal waters are, are muddy, they're low vis. Maybe the whales don't like that. Other days, we just don't have a clue. We're still learning. Whale count volunteers also make sure to take note of whale characteristics breaching, tail slapping, and singing underwater. Since 2008, whale counts around Maui have been over a thousand. Population numbers are growing, but humpbacks are still on the endangered list, trying to recover. There's still many threats out there that we don't understand. I know one thing that the sanctuary takes the lead on is, is looking at the ship strike and the entanglement threat out there. And the key to that, Lyman says, is prevention. Moani K. Alan Nabarro, KITV4 News. So far, there have been 10 confirmed whale entanglements around Hawaii this season, which scientists say is a normal number.